Okay, I'm making a five minute healthy breakfast. So when I say five minutes healthy breakfast, it's a little bit misleading. Like actually, this video is about how I prepared my oatmeal. So every morning I already have some cooked oatmeal and then I'll just put it together, put it in the microwave, added the fruit or whatever I want. And then it will be ready in five minutes and I have my really healthy, nutritious and delicious breakfast in five minutes. What I normally use, I use steel cut oats. And uh, you could use uh, rolled oak, large flakes, you know, anything you like. And I usually stay away from the more processed uh, quick oak. Um, but this is my favorite. It has some bites to it and I really like steel cut. Okay, steel cut oats and I have a small pot pot. Uh, you probably, when you get your large pot pot, and sometimes they give you a, a bonus when it's got a little dipper. And I also got this one. Actually, I got it from like a garage sale for a couple of bucks. I can make enough oats for oatmeal for that will last me for four breakfast. So um, I will put this is a quarter cup of measuring cup. So that's one. You can make more or less, it doesn't really matter, but I like to make to the maximum capacity. So that's about three and a half of this. Then I'm gonna whoops. Then I'm gonna fill this one with water to the brim. Now if the water up to the brim, I'm gonna put some margarine or butter, whatever you want coconut oil if you want just maybe like a tablespoon or so okay then I'm gonna cover it then we'll plug it in here it's quite full okay uh, if you use less oatmeal then you can put a little bit less water in that so if you know you kind of experiment a little bit and a couple of times later you'll know exactly how much water and how much oats you put in there uh, to make the most desirable consistency. So I'm going to just let it sit for a couple of hours. If you use rolled oat, I think it will be ready for an hour and a half or so, but steel cut usually takes a bit longer. If you leave it in there for too long, you will start forming a crust inside the walls and um, eh, you just, if that happened, you just soak it and, um, and soak the pot with cold water and then 15 minutes later you can remove it without any problems. It has been an hour and 45 minutes. The oatmeal is done. So I'm going to put it in a pot like this. I'm going to whip some milk into it. You can whip it, you can use water, juice, whatever liquid you want. Oh, it's hot. Very hot. So there it is. I'm just going to let off some steam. Let it cool a little bit before I put milk in it. Okay. Begin to stir. The oatmeal will continue to absorb moisture, will absorb the liquid. So whatever you whip in there will look a bit thicker the next day. So now even though the consistency looks really good right now, I will whip in a bit more milk. More. 
since I whipped cold milk in there, this, this is no longer very hot. Now I wouldn't put anything really, really hot in a plastic container. So if you're concerned, you can use ceramic and you can use glass, whatever cont container that you want. So since this is not very hot, so I'm okay to put it in here and I'll put it in the fridge. Okay, put it in. Now this is good to go into the fridge for overnight. Now I have enough, this will last me four to five breakfast, depends on how much I eat in the morning. Okay, so I'm gonna show you tomorrow how it looks like and how I prepare my five minutes healthy breakfast. Oh, it has been overnight, so now I'll show you how it looks like. You see how much liquid it absorbed? Okay, this is how you start your five minutes healthy breakfast. So you get a, a large bowl, and then I'll put between half a cup to three quarters a cup of this cooked oatmeal into the bowl. Okay, it depends on how hungry or how your appetite. Then I'm going to put some whey protein powder to mix with that because I want to make sure my breakfast has enough protein. Okay, you don't have to if you don't care about protein. If you're doing any serious exercise, you should have some protein for breakfast. So, like this, and you just kind of mix it. until it's not so powdery, then you can add some water. Okay, now have some water. I'll mix it a little bit more. Okay, now I came out from the microwave. Now you don't really need to use a microwave because the oatmeal is already cooked. If you use whey powder, the easy dissolve, or if you don't use whey powder at all, and you don't have to heat it up in the microwave, just add water and mix it, and this is it. You can put pretty much just about anything into in with the oatmeal to make a complete breakfast, but I'm gonna show you how I put mine together. This may not look like a lot of breakfast, but if this is gonna be large and complete, I already mix my uh, pre-cut, steel cut oak with some water and uh, whey protein. I use just pure protein powder and I just mix it, add some water, put it in the microwave for about 50 seconds and I, now it's out and I stir it. Now it's nice and smooth. And the next thing I'm going to get right here, this is what I'm going to eat with. The entire apple, some blueberries, a little bit of muesli and uh, I would like to eat it with something else my homemade kefir or some people call it kefir you have the good carbohydrates you have the protein all the fibers and vitamins that you need and then I have the milk um, also the uh, probiotics and uh, um, and I like a big breakfast so I want to eat the add the volume to it then I'll put some muesli uh, this is organic muesli that I use.
Okay, last but not least, we're filling the muesli. Now, it's big, really, really big and nutritious breakfast in just five minutes. Enjoy.